You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Thanks for your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. <laughs> Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Seems irrelevant. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. 
I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number AL345. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thank you. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. 
See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Handsome? Yeah, what but do you want? Find you LAPD. Handy. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. This town is going straight to hell. Uh, you got a problem, pal? Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. This guy's got a screw loose. Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner in the fight. must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Nothing significant. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Andy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. 11 grand would be a nice little nest egg.
Any ideas? All right. Let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. I think someone's had a few too many. over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Eleven King, go ahead with the further. Eleven K, see the woman. A 288 just occurred on the Angelino Heights trolley. Currently stopped near Fountain in Bronson. Call in for further information. Eleven K, code two. Eleven K, Roger. LAPD, ma'am, are you all right? That low life, that filthy low life. What happened? I was standing, ready to get off, and. I heard a click. His camera. That pervert took a picture of my... <clears throat> up my... Which way did he go? There! That's him! Right there! Ah, oh, fuck. Go on, Phelps, get after that creeper! Hit him, Cole, spin him out! Get in close and steer him off the tar. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road.
Give it up, LAPD. You're under arrest for public indecency. Ah, oh, Christ. Can you drive to this one? So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. Can I help you, gentlemen? LAPD, I heard he's man. It's cop. We're looking for Candy yeah, Edwards. Apartment you. 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. I'm out of here. Sounds please. like we're missing he's all the fun. Get in there, Fels. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. I told you I haven't seen him. <laughs> like hitting women, do you? We had a goddamn This isn't end well for you, friend. <laughs> Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute, take a look around. Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio.
Iskania sails from New York. This doesn't pertain to the case. I don't think so. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo. You hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Good luck, Miss Edward. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. 
I'll bring up the car behind you.
Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. 